everybody and welcome to Fonsi Mountain's 2024 here in the chilly Chicago, Illinois area. I'm Salty Boy, joined here by Nobody EXE, and we're going to bring you some Blaze Blue Tools. Blaze Blue Central Fiction Tools to start this year off. Exactly. Now, you know, it's funny that you say chilly in Chicago because it was definitely like negative 3 degrees last week. So I'm very proud to say that we're in a nice 30. What so we got some of remnant of snow just hanging around, chilling it's, out. It's it's trying to stay here, but you know, um, it, it, it is what it is. You know, but we're we're here for some more blizzards. Can you believe this thing is almost an outbreak? I can't. Um, I mean, I I haven't even been to see for that long, so yeah, it, it's a really old game and. Um, Blaze Blue Central, or not, not Central Fiction. Blaze Blue Calamity Trigger came out. When did that come out? Uh, 2008. I was four. <laughs> Man, you guys are really young. Man, that's crazy to think that, like, me and SKD were probably the younger people in the scene for the most part, and then all of a sudden you guys started showing up. And you know what? Keep the scene alive. That's great and all, but why would you click Kagura, you know? what? What is the deal with Kagura? Um... You know, the high you get from hitting that 4k damage combo every single time until <laughs> you get buried out and then you realize, oh, wait a minute, maybe I did something wrong. Is this a Kagura mirror? Is this gonna no be way it mirror? is. Okay, I was talking about earlier how there's a, quite a few Kagura's in the bracket already. You know, you have Serpent, Notui, Fire. I did not expect a Kagura mirror to start us off, but it looks like that will be the case with Notui and Midi. I already know that this day is going to be a spectacle when I see a Kagura mirror match at the first thing at 10 a.m. in the morning. Also, everybody that's tuning in, thank you so much for tuning in. You know, it's, uh, it's, it's a pleasure to always commentate Blaze Blue. This game is one of my favorites. Definitely don't get the, the same amount of satisfaction from any other fighting game. Yeah, super dynamic and has some of the coolest offensive, defensive balance of mechanics that you can see. I mean, overdrive in the corner. Um, that's like a huge thing, and we're going to be seeing it a lot in this tournament. And the oh, yeah. flash kick from Notably. Notably only took chip damage in that round. That was basically just a, uh, pretty much a perfect. Yes, it's pretty much perfect, but you know, it, it doesn't really matter what happens as long as you get that dub, right? Nice block. Oh, that's okay, no meter though. I Usually know. when he's that uh, fatal counter with Kagura, he needs a lot of resource to really cash out, especially if he's not in that corner. Yeah, for sure. And now Midi going to burst that one. Has Half-Life remaining. Blocks the flash kick, but yeah. no punish because of the rapid cancel. Smart from Notui. And Notui getting that throw off. This is going to bring Midi just a little bit closer to Ooh. the mid-screen for Notui to capitalize. Has Overdrive, but not going to even need to use it. And once again, Notui hardly taking any damage to take that game one. Yeah, he's really just setting the pace of this match. It's... it's really, I, I need to see Midi really... Uh, kind of assert himself a little bit better because it's just him getting hit, him, uh, I, I feel like most of Kagura mix it, you can't fuzzy block. That's the big thing, like especially a lot of his stance stuff. Mm -hmm. Well, here's a great way to start a midi off. This is the type of start that midi has been looking for. Yeah, immediate burst with midi, does not want to deal with the corner. Oh man, once again, the command throw. This is only layer one, baby, oh no, no red. I think the hit success rate on that is probably like 70-80% right now. Yeah, I think so too. It's been really working out for both of these players actually. Unfortunately, Midi not able to capitalize off of any of these openings. And that might be their downfall. And that's their... There's a TRM. And Notui has Midi locked down in the corner. Has full stick of butter, full stick of meter to work with. Gotta really see what... Uh, oh, yeah. Oh, no. Just kidding. There's a lot of oh no's going on over here. Yep, just a 2C. Taking and that throw and just immediate 2C. You know, Kagura is one of those characters that can really apply the pressure after that tech throw, especially since not a lot of characters can reach you after that tech throw. Uh oh. Fatal. All right. Throwing out the fireball, trying to control this neutral space. Yeah, Midi looking a lot better than uh, what he was doing previously. Yeah, Midi could definitely take this game one, or sorry, this game two 
to even up this playing field, but for, but you do need to close it out. Noe flash kicking, fireball out, trying to get something started here in the corner, but yeah, missing all of his moves. Midius. Oh my goodness! There's so much, there's a lot of uh, spaghetti on the table right now. Oh, let's go. Oh, my God. That's a lot. Of, no, I'm just kidding. Oh, I, I can't no. even speak anymore because uh, both these guys have the 10 a.m. jitters. No, I feel you. Yep. Last kick out. All right. 100 midi from Nudie. Nudie just one oh. hit away, and Nudie will take it. Eating up the games, and we have a game three on our hands already. That was a very interesting option. Uh, Hair stall into uh, 5DA. It's uh, not an ex like, it's not a choice that I would have done, but you know it works out. Hey, if it works, it works. Why not? Why not keep doing it? I mean, there's a lot of spaghetti on the table right now, and you know sometimes you just got to do it. All right, it's a full combo. Nope, just kidding. I'm mean, not going to say anything about you know full confirms or anything anymore because you know 10 a.m. jitters are very real. Mm hmm. All right, keeping this pressure going. Ooh, nice hit. This is going to launch Nodi a bit back. And Nodi finally getting some hits in as well. There's a lot of back and forth. <laughs> I, 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 I want to see both of these players kind of instant block the second hit of that 2DA or 2DB. Because if you instant block that 2DB, you, get, you, you open up so many other options that you can um, do defensively. Like the, the defensive throw against 2DB uh, 5DA. If you instant block it, you do get a throw punish. And that has carried on for so long in this legacy game. Oh, big confirm! Oh, even with the rabbit cancel, not, um, no, do we not a save? Catch out? No catch out. Now just holding on to that meter. Oh, no! Um, the, the hard th part about Kagura is, like, if you get a random hit, you, ha you, can, you have to just kind of commit to a string, right? You can't just kind of get that hit and then just see what you can do after. Mm hmm. Alright, fuzzy mash. Wyvern is out. Does not block. Gets the cross yep. up, and I think that's the first time we've seen that used. Oh! Flash kick on the overhead, yeah, alright. These guys are not hesitant to flash kick. Instant burst from Nudie. No, they're not, and you know, the flash kicks are working a lot. <laughs> the 5C uh, dash cancel while in overdrive. Should be dead. I think so. Nope, no, not he, quite. He cut it short. He cut it way short. Yep. Oh, let's go. <laughs> yeah, I guess Notoi right there just didn't want that combo to drop. Just went to get as much damage as he could comfortably can. Especially with, as you said, 10 AM jitters. Yep. We're all nervous. No punish, but it's OK. You know, it takes his turn. He's going to get a, a burst back as long as he doesn't get, you know, completely demolished. And both of them are going to be getting bursts back at the at amount this, at about the same time. Sorry, tripping over my words. There Another teleport, and this time Midi is there to yeah. react to it. That's the adaptation you, I like you, to see. You have to fuzzy guard that mix-up, especially if they've been showing it so much, you know. Okay, nice, confirm. Knockdown. So that's the fireball. Oh, big! This is huge. Look at that damage. Jeez. And it keeps on going. Yeah. Now, somebody over here has uh, his burst back as well. He's oh, going to spend it. Oh, yeah, an immediate I, burst from Midi. I don't know about that. Wyvern in, trading. Nori has Astral, does not even get to use it. Midi takes that set over Nori. Three, oh sorry, two, one, but it was really close at the very end. Yeah, I mean, you could definitely see a lot of flubber going on over here, but you, it, Midi clutches it out. Not a very good showing in that first game, but really, really just adapted really well. Mm -hmm. But once again, you know, both these players, it seemed like they understood what Kagura does, right? But they don't lab against their own character enough because there's a lot of situations where it's like, oh yeah, you know, if you fuzz a guard in this situation, you do this. But... You know, it might be 10 a.m., it might be whatever, but... Let's see. Do you think we were going to get more Kagras in this, <laughs> in I, this pool honestly, block? Honestly, uh, I was watching Casuals a little earlier, and it's just... It's Kagura City over here, man. Like, what, what happened? Also I, I, I stopped playing Blaze for, like, 
a couple years and everybody started playing COG or it's like the apocalypse. Also surprisingly, I've been seeing a lot of Lambdas, which is also really weird. Lambda makes sense, right? Because you see Monarch playing her and you're like, I want to do that. Any character can win. And then you realize, wait, I am a real person and Monarch is not. I don't have seven frame reactions or whatever the hell he's doing over there. Oh, and just as I say that, there's the Lambda pulling up. Lambda versus Izanami, you know, this matchup, kind of difficult, but I've seen I've seen a lot of people deal with it, but this is definitely a very difficult matchup. Uh, Izanami can just kind of bully Lambda for the most part. Uh, in the mid-range, Lambda can kind of like control her a little easier than uh, other characters, especially since she reaches the angles that Izanami likes to hang out, and then Izanami can't block, so... Well, we will see how that ends up turning out. Hold back to Bark versus Nox. Nox, I believe, on the Lambda. Hold back to Bark on the Izanami. And um, Izanami is actually kind of a hard character to play well, right? Yeah. Like, even though she, even though people normally agree to uh, agree that she is one of, if not the best character in the game, she is a lot more difficult to uh, get to get wins to get success with. Yes, exactly. It's because she does like a lot of Blaze Blue characters. Uh, she doesn't have that normal um, block strings that a lot of other characters have. She can't do like 2A, delay 2A, because it doesn't change. But she has access to one of the strongest neutral tools in the game in the terms of, uh, you know, I'm going to act independently of my character, the projectile. And this is where Izanami... That catches the backpack, yep. I was going to say, this is where Izanami kind of excels unfortunately there was a small drop like i said that 10 a.m jitters yeah Knox taking that first round feeling pretty comfortable about it too yeah if, if izanami just starts getting <laughs> going you know I, i'm not sure what lambda can really do all right nice buzz jumps up whoa yeah, just kind of relying on that dash up 6A a little bit too much. Even though, you know, she gets that float after, you as a character are allowed to press 5A because 6A is inherently negative. Mm -hmm. It is punishable if you react to it. And Nox keeping this pressure up right now, taking a burst from hold back to bark. That's really all they could do, the float over the super. That, yep. not, not very many characters can do something like that. Nice, very smart. Recognize the uh, the float cancel, but dialed out a string. So yeah, I think uh, I think what is giving Knox success right now is the fact that he is reacting to those float cancels every single time that pull back to bark is trying to open up Knox. They always try to go for those floats. Yeah, I mean that's that's the easy Nami game plan, right? Yeah. Because it's like what 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 am I going to do out of that? Oh wow! Yeah, tries to get under uh, dash underneath in the air, but. That's Purple push up, baby. That's push up. Do, we, do you still do that? Do Another guys, throw? Do you guys do that still? I don't know. It's been a, it's been a oh, while. We should. I mean, we, we should bring that back. I don't know what happened. I go away for a couple years and nobody's doing push ups anymore. Maybe this is why. Very nice. Yeah, demanding, demanding stuff from Knox right now, honestly. Uh, hold back to bar. He really needs to kind of maneuver around the screen a little bit better. You know, Izanami has all these great uh, air mobility options. Yeah, overdrives past that overhead. Yeah, Nox really is setting the pace for this game, just controlling the screen so nice effectively, and nice mash out from hold back to Bark. Oh no, he yeah, uh. tried to get the side switch combo. Yeah, the combo was a little difficult. Run up! Oh! Nice, pick up. A little bit too far. Needed to dash up a little off further. Confident uh, mash right there. Uh oh. Spending yep. the super, it will connect, and that will lead into a full combo. Lots of proration though, because that was a combo from the super. Tries to go for a crush yep. trigger. And that'll be it from Nox. I like how you said yeah, this is going to be big damage, and you remember who that character was on the screen. <laughs> Lambda really struggles in that damage department, but you know what? She makes up with it with uh, decent normals and, you know, pretty decent Oki situations. Mm -hmm. But uh, I think most of the time, I think the community has always kind of agreed that Lambda is, you know, 
on like the lower mid area section of the um, the Blaze Blue tier list, you know. Yeah, not quite as low as her zoner sister, New. We don't talk about New. I'm kind of glad she's not good because every game that New is good in, it's a bad version. <laughs> I'm going to say it. Every version that New 13 was good in was a bad version. Hey, you know what? Here's the thing. Well, y you're right. You're right. Remember CP, uh, what was it, 2.0? No, I know what you're talking yeah, about. Yeah, I know exactly, exactly what you're no, referring was, to. Yeah, yeah. C CPEX, whatever the hell it was. Yeah, and, and speaking, then, of, speaking of New, like, we do have New players here as well that are, like, actually quite good. I mean, um, I think New is, uh, honestly, as a character, if you do... If you understand how to play against the player and use new to her full success, I think that her as a character is fine. You know, she has tools that uh, Lambda does not, and I think that she excels in uh, annoying the other player uh, a lot better. And speaking of V13, we have V13 right here. Oh, we got an Arcune. Yes, the, the, the big thing is. Uh, this matchup is a little interesting, right? Because Arakune, not known for his amazing walk speed, amazing mobility or anything, but if he touches you and curses you, it just might be the game, honestly. True, but it is about getting to that point, yes. right? Because new, th this is not a great matchup for Arakune because Arakune, while some people may classify Arakune as a zoner without curse, his zoning tools cannot keep up with a true zoner exactly. like New. And an air throw to start us off. I believe the names are incorrect right now. Counterpoint should be the oh. Arakune. That's a lot of curse meter right there building up. Look at that. Yeah, I kept trying to just kind of jump, but that poison cloud, it's adding up. Oh, very nice. Yeah, Counterpoint almost getting that curse. And this might be it. Sending out the cloud. Really, oh. oh, there we go. There it is. Now it's party time. Welcome. Say hello to my friends and Super Nyano doing a really good job at blocking most of it, but you can only block Arakune for so long. Yeah, there's a lot of bugs still. Okay, no more curse, but it's okay. Not in curse cooldown. Oh, that would have been so bad for uh, V13 right there. Oh, here we go. 10 a.m. jitters. I'm not going to say that combo is pretty hard. No 60 to finish it out. But it's okay, in chip range, 5C anti here. And that will do it. Arcune is also one of those few characters with uh, not a 6A that's a, the, the anti air, right? It's, uh, it's his 5C. And that always throws me off. It does not look like it should be an anti air, but... Yeah, know. 5C and also 2B, too. Yes. And 2B does not look like an anti air either. Uh, well, 2B is, a, is an anti air in a different... Yeah, yeah, I know what you different mean. ...different sense, you know? It's a, it's a low profile anti air, but... Our B13... Trying to control that neutral, but you know, gets gets that curse down. Bar break. Lots of cross ups, lots of bugs coming out and just getting we're not, hits we're, randomly. Yeah, we're, we're, we're not even uh, trying to do any damage right now. We're just we're just getting hit. Yeah, again, we're just doing spaghetti right now. We're not even caring about getting full combos, full damage, and the overdrive combo for Super Nemo. This is the time to start cashing out a bit. Okay, nice check on that teleport. Oh, this is bad. This is real bad. Oh, this is bad. <laughs> uh, it, it really be like that sometimes, you know? Sometimes you do it, you, you think you're playing real good, and all of a sudden Arakuni goes, ha, and then, you know. Yeah, like a bug comes out of the ground, like, oh no, you yeah. shouldn't have been standing there. Why'd you get cursed? Exactly. Yeah, why'd you get cursed? Just play neutral better. We, we got the audience kind of, uh, we, we got the, we got the soapbox in the back going on. Yeah, the crowd going crazy for both of these players. And, um, here's the thing about Arakune. You know, I did talk about how he's not really a true zoner. He's not really a true rushdown, not great at mid-range, um, without curse either. But when he does get cursed, he's all, he becomes really good at all three, right? Yes. And so that classifies Arakune as a hater archetype. A hater archetype? A hater archetype. I don't know if that's a hater archetype. I think, it, I think Arakune players are just really, really smart, you know? Oh my god, you see how smart that was? The smartest. All right, set it up, set it up. Set it up. Let me see it. Yeah, I can see it, and we are going for the full root right now. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? Yeah, that's what I thought. I'm going to hold down back and a bug is going to come up. That's okay. Put a kid right there, but you know what? 
wanted to wanted to do a, a little cheeky, one of the little cheeky. Counterpoint on set point right now. Yeah, V13 really needs to lock this character down as soon as possible. Yeah, they're okay. Yeah, the last thing you want is an Arakune roaming free, just like that, teleporting oh. right through. And that's really smart, too, because all of uh, New's drive moves can be very committal on whiff. Yeah. Loss of loss of end lag. So, Counterpoint really smartly evading all of them, teleporting through them, jumping over them, um, in really punishing, uh -oh. making Super Niemo regret <laughs> uh -oh. pressing the buttons that they do. Okay, yeah. Nice, yeah, catch that there. Yeah. You have to, as D13, you really need to, like, check Arakune's dash, except, uh, you know, sometimes you get cursed, and uh, this is where party time happens. That overhead. Are you going to burst? Don't burst. You burst. Okay. Sets it up. There's a bug. No, no more curse. Okay. Yeah, this is looking really five bad, and that 5C it. can do it. Counterpoint not going to drop it this time around. The Spider coming from above, finishing the job. And that was a quick 2-0 for Counterpoint. You, you notice how you don't shake the Arakuni player's hand? Giuno was right. Giuno was right. Grimy hands. You never. Yeah, you don't even hand. know what that Counterpoint, hey, it's, uh, that uh, Arakuni has touched. You know? it's, it's COVID. You know? these, are, these are COVID, respectful, respectful COVID things. Just don't shake people's hands. Go. One of my favorite Subaki players coming up. Right now. That is Dantis, and Dantis did actually get, um, didn't didn't I think was in top 33 last year for Frosty Fastings 2023. Yes, yes, yes. But Dantis did actually make a top eight placing at a major Siotaku last year. Yes, yes. So this could be just a a way for Dantis to like show that he's rapidly improving. Probably yep, make yep, top yep. eight here. He's an actual top eight contender now. Well, you know, it's it's hard to say you're a top eight contender because there's so many people right. in this scene now that are just absolutely nuts at this game. The the level of play for Blaze Blue uh, Central Fiction has leveled up so much uh, throughout these years, especially with the advent of the Wolfpack Netcode uh, on Steam that you can find out. I think it's always on Steam. <laughs> it, it, it kind of is. Even, even when there's like a Guilty Gear event going on, Blaze yeah, Blue's like, on hey, sale. Blaze Blue's on sale. By the way, uh, check out no Mori's new studio. I'm not sure if he's going to make another Blaze Blue anytime, but you know, he's got his own game studio out. Yeah, and speaking of strong players, you know, we have Dantis right here, um, but this pool block has Monarch, has Ice Cool, Days, Kairos. It's going to be really, really stacked. This is a very, very hard pool to uh, really get out of. You know, you know, Kairos has always been one of the Hazmas to look out for. Uh, high school, of course, needs no introduction. And then Monarch, you know, just, just multiple tournament winner Monarch, not a real person. Yeah, none of them need an introduction. But we have the Subaki versus Rachel matchup, right? So this matchup is... Pretty momentum heavy, I want to say. Uh, whichever character gets started first is when you know the that's that's when it starts hurting. Yeah, that makes sense. The big thing, the the, the big thing is like the neutral in this in this matchup. I think would be a slight advantage for Rachel, right? Because she has uh, ways to keep Subaki kind of slowed down. She has so many so much screen pollution to really kind of keep her in check. But at the same time, Subaki has one of the best movement speeds in the game. Yeah, one of the best runs, one of the, like a, a super large air dash. Yeah, super large air dash, uh, great buttons. Her 5B is absolutely ridiculous. Uh, an amazing 3C somehow. <laughs> that anti-air is random. All right. Dive down, get a bit of a charge for those stocks. No reversal from Rachel, nice, yep. Overhead in the charge into another overhead. Classic. Back down to the ground. Hit those floorboards on the way down. Dantis keeping up this stagger pressure. All right, just get a little full confirm right here. And this has some meaty, meaty projectiles. It's cheap. Ooh, that's a low. That's the that's that's the 10 a.m. hater energy right there. I like to see. I know that you are in pools right now. I'm gonna just do a block string into 2-2-C. 
Maybe maybe Subaki was the true hater archetype all along. Subaki's always been the hater archetype. I, I honestly. Have you seen level five cheap champ play? <laughs> You're so right. <laughs> all right I concede. Go. Bananas. Oh, now nah, that's air unblockable, baby. You're dead. <laughs> yeah, you were talking about that 5B. Dantas has been using that, that liberally. Is, that is the button in this matchup, right? That all that actually no, that's a lot. That's a button in every matchup for Subak. That her 5C is deceptively fast. Yeah, Rachel, one of the fatter characters of uh, Subak can get some really cool combos on it as well. Overhead, crocking that skull open, and once again, another combo bring him down to the ground. Some more stocks being charged up, and a burst being taken from Doug. Doug is looking really bad, looking really bad on life right now, but is really filling up the screen right now, keeping uh -oh. Dantis from moving the way he wants to, and capitalizing off of right any there. of these openings that he creates. Yeah, baby! Stars and stripes! And that should be it. Yep, Dantas showing why uh, he is a contender for top eight. Shouts out to Doug. Shouts out to Calgary. <laughs> yeah, we also have a... We, are, we have a quite a few Subaki players in this bracket. Quite a few Rachel players in this bracket. So it won't be the last time you see any of these characters. Yes, exactly. So, very nice. That barrier is out, but it's okay. Subaki, one of the best dash bees in the game. You know, it just works. All right, so that's that's all you need to know. Georgia 13. This is, uh, what are you going to do, Subaki? Okay, you're going to jump. And Thantis has been doing a really good job of uh, avoiding all of George 13, right? Yeah. All right, get some cross up. Okay, DP's out. Subaki, one of the rare characters that can really uh, combo off that DP. As long as she has uh, the stock for Unfortunately, the starter wasn't that much damage, but you know, it doesn't really matter when you're that low on HP and you have 100 meters to really jack the damage up. Yeah, for sure. Nice Dantis, block. once again, getting a bit greedy with those stocks. You kind of have to as a Subaki. The hammer going to be blocked this time. Doug not going to get hit multiple times by that. And now is starting to fill up the screen. Zone Subaki out, zone Thantis out. But you can only keep Thantis out for so long. Oh no, he tried to check it. That was the wrong move. Yeah, the 5A stagger pressure. Real, real difficult for Rachel to kind of really deal with. Real risky right here. All right, lock short, but nothing out of it. It's okay. Catches the dash. Wins for some stock. I was going to say, very good block. Oh, oh, we got some flubber. Okay, 5B counter hit. Spends that 25 meter for the extension. Just kidding. 10 AM, baby. And that's one crazy thing that we just saw right there. Dantis using that JC. But JC has two hits, even on whiff. So if the first one whiffs, if the first one's blocked, you can always surprise them with the second one. Exactly. And once again, that cross up, catching Doug, not used to uh, dealing with cross-ups in these modern fighting games. <laughs> Moves that move you past your opponent and then make you, force you to block cross-up, cheap. Imagine. Imagine having to block the other way. Imagine having to block. I didn't pay $60 to block, honestly. Hey, it's always on sale. It is. So you know what? Yeah, it's not 60 bucks. <laughs> it's, it's not 60 it's, bucks. It's like 15, 20 bucks sometimes. Play Blaze Blue, guys. I've got good Netflix. <laughs> Shouts out the Monarch already sitting in the front row. I believe we have Grover in the back as well. Is that Grover? I haven't seen Grover since he left his hoodie at my house. Oh, no, I think that might be Greek. Oh, yeah, that is Greek. Yeah. I was like, where is Grover? I don't see that Indian guy anymore. Anyway. <laughs> All right. Now that we've seen the players that we've had, who do you think we're going to be seeing now? Like, so I, what, what characters do we expect to see? It's really hard to judge a... It, it's a little racist to say what kind of per, uh, uh, character a player plays, right? True. I'm not going to judge somebody by how they look and be like, you are probably an X player. Because then I would be looking at everybody and be like, you're an Arakuna. But this is Days right here. This that is, is Daze. true. I mean, no. 13 Blades. He's playing... 13 Blaze is back on Blaze Blue, baby. 
13 blades! He's back, baby! Yeah, 13 blades, or Days is definitely one of those OG uh, Blazeball players. Switched off of Jin finally. Said, no, Jin isn't esports enough. I'm going to my Natsume. <laughs> That's a very. Mai is definitely an esports character, honestly. That she is. And Days has been getting a lot of success with Mai recently. Hey, I mean, this character is good. <laughs> it's a real good character right here. Oh, yeah. Incredibly good at neutral, incredibly good on defense, super high damage. What else could you want? Amazing buttons. One of the most annoying ways to really kind of open people up because she has access to those tech and strength. All right, DP's out. Catch that back dash. Oh, I'm dropping, I'm dropping those nacho combos. You know, it's 10 a.m. My hands aren't warm enough. Gotta get those uh, hand warmers, those hot pockets. Yeah, those hot <laughs> hot pockets. Is that what they're called? No, uh, no. They're, what are they called? Hot hands. There we hot go. Hot hands. I was like hot pockets. I mean, you could warm your hands up with hot pockets yeah, too. You're gonna, I'm not, I'm not you're saying anything burn against that. Yourself on those hot pockets. All right, Daze. Show me some. Show me. Show me the flash. All right. Yeah. There we go. That five C uh, command dash is so annoying to do. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Daisy okay. doesn't know how to play Blaze Blue, man. What is going on? I see you. I see you. Let me see the gin. Let me see the gin. All 13 Blaze would have shown me the flash. All right, 2.2k, but in the corner, back dash. Huh, interesting. A little bit too much good figure strat going on. Huh? All right, yep. yep. You know what's really scary is my Natsume at full screen is still a threat. <laughs> that is true. The, the command dash into uh, Spear is one of the most annoying things to deal with, especially if you're not uh, ready for that spacing. And just like that, Daze has reversed the situation on Matt, keeping him locked down in the corner and going to be doing a lot of damage to boot. Not hey. just yet. One more mix up. We're opening rapid cancel. We're seeing another rapid cancel yep. being spent, and there we have it. Matt yeah. going I, I yeah. like that patience. Gotta cancel out. God, that <laughs> the command backdash from uh, from Mai is one of the most frustrating things to do. Wow, air DP, very interesting. Woo! I like that call or the uh, the air to air from uh, Jay's right there. That was really smart. Oh, baby! Wow! That's what, what I'm an anti-air! Oh. God, now it's so cool. That was sick confirmed. That was sick confirmed. Huh? No, oh, didn't get the dash, but it's okay. We'll take any damage. Yeah, and just like that, Matt has a uh -oh. day's lockdown. No, never mind! Sometimes the spaghetti, just, you know, ends up betraying you. Ooh, she's trying to go for the, uh, the cheeky, uh, set up right there but one Matt. of the best DPs in the game right there whiffs doesn't get punished for it <laughs> okay it's gonna be a nice chunk of damage right here but the the setup is the more real thing nice yeah notice he had the 50 meter if you're uh, any character with the DP you know that they're gonna DP and you're gonna, they're gonna spend that 50 meter to make himself safe Jay's putting himself in the corner but it's okay Ooh. That was a sick confirm as well. Super. Super. Oh. Ooh. Oh. I didn't know Matt had those confirms in him. Days go back to Jin, baby. It's, it's Jin. Oh, we're getting, we're seeing the characters like is Jin coming out. Go to Jin, yeah. We got the Jin. That's what I'm talking about. The return of 13 Blades, baby. Show me the flash. This is a treat. I haven't seen 13 Blades play this character in like seven years. Well, that's, that's a lie. Maybe, maybe it's been a little shorter, but you know. Well, we'll see if that skill has been keeping up, and looks like that is the case. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jin actually really a much less popular character than I thought he would be. He's too simple for this uh, game now, even though I think he's still one of the coolest characters in this game. Yeah, baby! The, the Jin Classic. Did you see? Did you see? What's the mix up? 
in melee, we're seeing a completely different <laughs> That's pace of the match. This, this is my goal. My goal! 13 blades! <laughs> Suddenly, it feels like Matt can't do anything as Days has keeping is keeping him locked down in the same pressure that Matt yeah, was honestly, doing to I, him. I think this matchup is uh, uh, really interesting, right? Because it's you, everybody's kind of used to that Ragna uh, Jin matchup, but this matchup is a lot more. Um, how do you say? More Rage One. It's definitely more Rage One because Naoto doesn't have the, the, the crazy normals that Ragna has, but still has the same kind of options that he wants to do. And 13 Blades is real, real good at playing at this range. Uh-oh. Ooh, Rapid Cancel a bit late there. That's fine. Not too much damage. Just, just 3.8k. Nice. Yeah, that's the Jin class right there. You, you want to roll? Nope. I got that dash two wave. Hey, you know if the DP doesn't work the first time, just do it again. Do it again. They and won't expect it the second time. The second DP, I respect because it crossed him up, okay? He crossed himself up, got hit by the DP. It, it happens. Now we have a set on our hands. Oh my god. And Days immediately getting a good round start just like last time. Alright, yep. Just playing patient right now. Air DP. Ooh, okay. God. Yeah, Matt, Matt has been showing that uh, like I'm gonna block this in the air and then you're gonna you're gonna try to, to force your approach on me. I'm just gonna air DP. Oh yeah, that, that's not what you want. That's all you want to see. Oh, block, block, block. Okay. I like the movement from both of these players right now. Yeah, they both know the ranges that each other can play at and try to play around them. There's the guard crush. Day's gonna get a full corner combo from this. Did you see? Mix What's up? the mix up afterwards? Oh! Jumps into the blind spot of the ah, DP. Ah. So smart. Matt bursting, trying to keep this corner. Honestly, this is a win for Days right there, right? Because he took his burst. That was only the first round. He might not get his burst back this next round. No, not at all. Especially with how dominating Days has been in like those last two rounds before. Yep. Crouch confirm. This is Jin's favorite. Did you see? Dash, did you see? No. Okay, let's go. So mix up. Nice throw. <laughs> throw in return. Air throw actually dribbling him like a basketball back down to the ground and into the corner you go. I don't understand. Matt did the hardest part of that combo and then he dropped the easier one. <laughs> the 10 a.m. baby. That's right, just the now to experience, right? Yeah, yeah. Do the really hard thing and then drop the really easy part. And then the opposite. <laughs> I love this movement. Just staying on that floor. Ooh. Almost caught him. There. Nice. Yep, DP up. Matt has his first back. One yeah. chance. Let the match last on just long both enough. Of yeah, both of these guys have a hundred meter. A single oh. hit will do it. And now Matt stuck in the corner. Supers out. F gets out of the corner oh. for free. Right, we're, we're, we're. Oh my god! Okay. Keeping himself alive, keeping himself alive. Both these guys might get their uh, both these guys are gonna get their burst back this round. Sometimes as an outdoor player, you just gotta embrace, you know, just do the, the special move. Do mm -hmm. the dash special move. Alright? Doesn't want to deal with it anymore. Yep. Spends the meter, keep himself safe. Being patient right now, looking for his one opening. Oh, counter hit doesn't get a confirm off of that. Yeah, days. Ooh, yeah, okay. Get that confirm. Did you see? Set up. DP's out. Yep. <laughs> Both these I, guys are training. And I think that's the second time that we've seen that. Matt hits a successful DP, Ooh, and then Days hits oh, a successful DP in return, and this combo should be enough to kill. Finishing it off with the EA, something the flashy. He's back, baby. Who is Days? That's what I like to see, you know? Screw the eSports. Play. Let me play this game. That was a good set. That was a really good set. That was a set. very good set. God, I, I love Jin. Jin's so cool. Jin is very cool. Every, and also, 
The older I, I, I get, the more I appreciate just like normal characters, right? Because you got characters like Nine, you got characters like Susano and stuff, and I'm really like, man, Jin's so sick. <laughs> Jin's you know, so sick. I don't blame you. Like whenever I want to watch some good Blaze Blue, I just pull up Fenrich, Fenrich Jin. Fenrich is definitely one of uh, the guys to uh, really go to. You know, uh, I am uh, I'm a Cockwood enjoyer. I'm a big Cockwood enjoyer. That is a uh, relic loss to probably you guys. Probably. <laughs> yeah. Um. C C C S. <laughs> I, be I believe he, he played during CP as well. But of course, we got Monarch coming up on to the setup. Mister Number One Seed right here. And as we said before, rocking the lambda, but could also pull out a different character. I know that he has that S po uh, He has that S secondary, and I believe he has a lychee pocket, if I'm not mistaken. He has a lot of things. He he. I I, I want to say he's pretty well versed in uh, most of the cast, um, to some extent. Yeah, has all of his bases covered. Yeah, his lychee is very good, but you can definitely tell what character he's playing from the uh, controller layout he, he's he's picking, right? Mm. And I uh, think. Yeah. yeah. It looks like it's going to be either S or Lambda. And uh, Jinsoku is, I believe, is who he's playing against. No, no. This is not Jinsoku. Jinsoku is a Chicago local. He plays Rag. Right, right. Alright, quick button check going on. You're making sure that we don't get any miss inputs. <laughs> How can I? Oh no, this is Nisimono. That's right. Yes. Nisimono, Valkenhayn, one of, I believe, the two Valkenhayn players in this bracket. The, the one of the very few Valkenhayn players that are still playing. <laughs> That's true. I don't know, uh, so Valkenhayn is really strange for this version, right? It's like, he's still really, really good. Not many people want to play him. I think the execution might be a little bit too hard for some players, but I think Valkenhayn still really messed up in the game. One of the very few characters that can just kind of bait DPs by staying in wolf form. Yeah, now S, Monarch picking the S instead of the Lambda for this matchup in particular. I wonder if that's a counter pick or if he's just feeling more comfortable with S right now. Honestly, it does, I, I feel like uh, Monarch S is one of his best characters, right? Because he, he's got everything down to kind of a, kind of a science with S. Uh, that coupled with his amazing blocking is just like the, the end all be all. Uh, S's damage is also very high, uh, according to like if she has uh, the seal or not, or if she has seal set up. Uh, her normals are also very, very good, and her anti airs are ridiculous. <laughs> I don't think we need to. I don't think we need to go in depth about those anti airs. Six B J B. Yeah, six B J B. We got her two C reaching two C? real high yeah, up right, in the air. That too. The skyscraper high. Really good fireball. It's okay. Everybody blocks the same against Alcanine. Nisimona drawing the first blood right now. Puts himself in the corner because that combo drop though, unfortunately. Yeah, plus, plus frames. 5A, 5A. Ooh, catches with that 2D. Two, two <laughs> it is a really unfortunate situation to be in right now. You don't want to be sitting in the corner against an S. Tr turning into wolf mode, trying to get in nice the 6B anti-air that we've been talking about. There's the confirm into the corner. Yeah. That's a blue beat combo, but it's we going to be those. a good amount of yeah, damage. We take, yeah, we take those. Yeah, the delay uh, air dash. Oh, tries a 6A. Interesting. Yeah, okay, try to go for a TRM. That's 10 push ups, maybe. That's 10 push ups. For everybody watching at home, if you get, you know, Purple Throne, do your push ups. You'll feel, I mean. you'll feel stupid, but at least you'll get strong. Just one confirm is all Monarch needed right here. Oh my here. god. Yeah, this is going to be into a setup. 5A, 5A, 5A. <laughs> yeah, that was a really good blocking from uh, Nisimono using that barrier to kind of push out the 5A range a little bit. 6B, once again. It's going to be full confirm because she had seal. Look at that damage. Uh, uh. Super? I don't think this is enough. No, it is. Okay. Always uh, 1,000 minimum damage, I believe. Or 800. 800? Okay. Because I know that... I know that that super doesn't necessarily do a lot on its own until, like, overdrive hits. 
And then and then when I see Overdrive Super, I'm like, that's going to kill every single time. <laughs> uh, the, the Overdrive Supers for every character do way too much damage. True, true. But it makes sense, right? Because you're giving up this resource to uh, kind of just cash out. Everybody blocks the same against Falcon Eye, but it's okay. Nice block. Oh my Wow. God. Mark is just a wall right now. Text the throw and he's I out. You, Monarch's not a real person. Oh, but there's the counter hit that Nisamoto finally gets. Yep. It only took 20 seconds. DPs. Just the corner. Okay. Wolf Beater's pretty much back for now. Ooh, wow. Okay, I like that. Tall characters, baby. Sometimes you get fuzzy. These tall characters. Mm, mm, mm. Uh, uh, uh. Look how fast that is. Does she need to be this fast? Probably not. Oh, no, that sucks. That sucks. Small drop ends up, you know, getting 2A. start right here just flying around the screen trying to mix up their movement against monarch but those fireballs are going to be controlling that space super big nice 60 combos in that full corner carry. oh i like that falling down a ja right there to get out of the corner nisimono almost getting burst back as well just waiting it out at the moment letting that wolf meter like fill back up yep that, that's a big thing for a lot of uh, newer Valkyrie players, right? Is they uh, they don't understand how much meter a lot of the Wolf Gauge is going to use, right? And uh, Wolf Gauge in this version does not regenerate while you're in the air. Yeah, you got to play very grounded EA. There we go. That's going to be active flow version as well, so that will be enough to kill. And Monarch will uh, take it. Really good stuff, honestly. Immaculate blocking. Dude, that Falconhide is still a very hard character to block, even to this day. Even with this uh this nerfed version of Falconhide. Yeah, right. we definitely saw like all those like super strong mix-ups coming out from Yisamono. But before we get to see any more of these pools matches, we're gonna have a short ad break. Yep. So stay tuned guys, we'll be back shortly. Gaming Gen is once again proud to partner with Frosty Faustings. They offer everything you need to run an amazing event. Equipment, branding, even planning and logistics. From industry players to tournament organizers. The best of the best trust Gaming Gen with their events. Gaming Gen. Industry leading event services. We hope you're enjoying Frosty Faustings as we host the last stop on the Arc World Tour. Mark your calendar for March 21st through 23rd for the Arc World Tour Finals to see how the final chapter ends. With discounted tickets and VIP exclusive collectibles, now is the perfect time to get your tickets. Frosty Faustings is thrilled to host the first stop on the Skullgirls Championship Series 2024. 
Be sure to download Skullgirls Second Encore and Skullgirls Mobile on your cell phone. And Marie, the latest challenger for the Skull Heart, is available on Steam Early Access. Paragon FGC brings you Paragon Line with ladder format from 4 to 6 p.m. Pacific, 7 to 9 p.m. Eastern. $100 starting prize pool every Tuesday. Completely free to enter for North American players only. And since it's ladder format, you can stop and go whenever you like. It's your call. Play more or play less. Slashback returns as NorCal's famous anime-inspired fighting game tournament. Fiending for more tournaments with classic Guilty Gear action? Slashback has all three. Enjoy NorCal's biggest attraction outside of the Redwood Forest. Games, music, artists, and a fantastic vibe. Boston Blue Beat presents Beach Episode Campout. Join them August 10th through 11th. Dive right in at startgg slash beach. Watch out for sharks and don't drown in pools. Cream City Convergence C3 is back for another banger at the Baird Center in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Scan the QR code, register now, and get ready for some high-level competition. Don't miss your chance to pick up this year's limited edition Frosty Faustings gear, including truly custom cut-and-sew pieces with ultra-breathable FGC Aloha shirts, scarves, and beanies galore. And we're back. Welcome back to Blazeful Pools. We got a match for you guys. We got Kairos, Rock and the Hosma, of course, versus Small Fry, another Arakune player from the Midwest. Yeah, really good new Arakune player here. Uh, really good past results recently with his tournaments. And I think this is his first Frosty, so uh, we'll Fry? see how that goes. Yeah, Small no, Fry. No, no, no. This is it? definitely not his first Frosty. <laughs> no, no, you're right, you're right. Uh, but no, no, Small Fry, I don't believe, has been really practicing too much because of work, you know, stuff like that. But Arakune can make miracles happen. I've definitely seen it. But, you know, Hazma is one of those characters that can really shut down a lot of the uh, approaches and areas that Arakune likes to hang out in, especially with the chains. It's like that kind of thing where, like, Arakune struggles against zoner-type characters, and Hazama is actually particularly kind of good at that. I think that Arakune struggles against every character until he gets cursed. So, yeah, yeah, you're right. Let's be honest. This character, not not the most amazing normals, right? His normals are not amazing, but every hit he tags you with can lead to a potential death. All right, double chain. Gets overhead. Kairos drawing first blood right now. Spending those chain stocks, bringing him up, down. Just dashes out. Yeah, you can see Small Fives just really trying to close that distance. Try to play in that range 1 to 2 against uh, Hosma. It's really hard to keep Hosma locked down, though. Whoa. Tried to, tried to fuzzy jump, got anti air by 2A. It's okay, we got 10 a.m. Uh, 10 a.m. jitters. Yeah, Kyra's dropping that confirm at the end of that super. Here we go. And there is a curse. It's anybody's game now. Invisibility as well. Pop him up, bring uh -huh. him back down. Damage is racking up. Right, what's the mix up? So that's some more curse left in the tank. Bates the burst. Oh! Gets a throw. My hero. I, I thought that was the counter. I'm going to be real. I thought that was the counter. I thought that was Tarakune counter. That was so sick. <laughs> oh. Bates the anti with the uh, jump back 4D. I go back down. Okie okay. Yeah. yeah, just using that uh, uh, Ordacris teleport. Yeah, yeah. All right. Cloud, Air cloud is out. It's pretty good against Hazuma. Trying to keep him locked down. Yeah, that's really going to prevent Kairos from wanting to be in the air that yep. often. Gets a little bit of uh, curse meters for his troubles, but, you know, getting knocked down back in the corner. Overdrive, yep. Instant curse. Oh, doesn't block it. Or doesn't peck the throw. This could be potential death soon. Yeah, and nice without block. burst as well going to the next round. Small Fry is really going to want to uh, keep this match going, this round going as long as possible. Yeah. Honestly, 
Works out. He's uh, in active flow right now. And he's going to get this curse. All right, now you're Mix locked up. down. Oh my gosh, I don't even know what's going on. <laughs> well, it was a cross up. Didn't you see? I saw cross ups, I saw lows. Oh. A little bit of uh, spaghetti. Uh oh, this is not good. Immediate burst. Honestly, honestly, I, I, don't, I don't disagree with it. But. He almost got that comeback, too. So Exactly. He did. He really did believe in that. Sometimes you got to believe in yourself. And that's the key to success. And Kairos nice is going to succeed in hitting that confirm. Bring him back down. 2K gets oh. the overhead to connect. Another okay. overhead TRM. and a TRM. Shades of uh, Hosma CS combo. 3.6K. Very good damage. Oh, no. I don't think Qualify is getting his burst back. I don't think so. That was really good showing, though. That was really, really close. Uh, up until that last round, where uh, he had no burst and was just kind of forced to block everything. Mm -hmm. He needs to uh, really adjust to blocking that overhead. This is, Kairos is getting so much mileage off that overhead. Oh, nice. Okay. Which I read is gonna ooh <laughs> <laughs> going right under all of these chains, okay. Sending out those spiders, trying to send oh, out some no. clouds, but Kairos can get in so easily if you're not careful. A little drop right there. It's okay, gets the uh, hit with the chain, so he does get uh, all the chains back. Just you're seeing, oh uh, yeah, can't can't always just do seeing. Ooh, nice. Stagger strings. Knock him down. What's the setup? It's two A. Lay two A's. Nice block on the overhead. That was actually a fuzzy block, too. Yep. Oh, no. Unfortunate. Don't drop it this time. There we go. We got those confirms. Yep. There we go. Just keep it simple. Won't let it drop a second time. Okay, yeah. I, I like the uh, little mind game at that round start for both these players. Very confirmed though. Pop him up in the air, bring him back down. Oh, and he's, got a, he's got his work cut off for him right now. Oh, almost a really good confirm right there. Yeah, still no curse mirror though, yet in this round. Yeah, like I said, been going that, on for that very neutral. long. This was very, very stressful for this off today. Burst. Has a cloud active, hoping that if Kairos gets close enough to him, then that will proc up some curse. But <laughs> still, not touching that cloud, not getting any curse, getting a ton of small hits. But these small hits are not doing yeah, anything for small right, the, small right right now. They're not the correct uh, confirm for him to really get that curse meter going, and this should be it. Yeah. yeah, the thing is about Arakune is that he needs that one like good hit that yes. one good confirm in order to get he can pretty much get full curse off of a single combo yes. but small fry i don't think in that entire set even got one of those no exactly the the, the big thing is this kairos was maneuvering around the uh the spiders really really well um and then uh put himself in a lot of situations where even if he got tagged by any normals he wasn't going to eat that full confirm uh uh, that's uh, like the big thing that is really scary against our attorney, right? It's like, hey, I don't know which scenarios where he can get that from. Mm -hmm. And Kairos is so effectively playing outside of the ranges that Arakune wants to hit those buttons in and make just making it super difficult to get anything to actually get going outside of that first round, right? Exactly. But we got somebody on set that needs no introduction once again. You'll see him as we pan the camera over. Yep, there he is, yeah. rocking the beanie. Ice cool. Susano, the best Susano player right now. I don't know, man. There's a lot of Susan players that would uh, like to uh, challenge that title, right? We got Dragon Lord. We got um, Ice Cool. We have who else? I feel bad. Daedroth. Yeah, Daedroth. Uh, Daedroth also plays hockey. I guess so. Yeah. Yeah. I think so. I, th yeah. I think, I think yeah. they dual main. I actually am not too sure. But I, I, I know more as Susano. He yes, plays Susano yes, yes. much more. Oh, 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 oh. Too many Susan players.
matters. <laughs> I love high school's faces. <laughs> <laughs> That's too early for this. <laughs> Alright, now we're getting to the character select. A little bit of flubbing on the uh, equipment. Let's see. Think, um. Who's, who, who's playing against? I think Aerith, maybe? I want to say. But I could be wrong. Alright, you know, there's too many new faces out here. It's, it's hard to keep track of... Uh, and hey, there's so many Hawkman players that so I wouldn't blame Hawkman you either. Players. So many Hawkman players. I don't know. I think I feel like Hawkman players are far and few between now. Nice. Nowadays. Oh, wait. No, we got another Arcuna instead. This oh, Wisteria. Up. Okay. Yeah, this, this, this is uh, one of those matchups, like we said. Arcuna kind of loses in the neutral, but... Hey, all it does, you know, one hit. Quick button check right now. Yeah, Susano is one of those characters that is extremely fast, but his acceleration is really slow. Oh, yeah. He, I think, and that's one of the things that when I talk to people, when people say, like, I would love to play Susano, this is, like, one of their deal breakers because of that dash. Yes. Because, like, he has that startup for the dash. He's, like, the only character that does. Yes, exactly. Having that uh, crazy startup acceleration. Uh, but what, once he gets moving, he is one of the quickest characters in the cast. Yeah, and that's pretty much the that's pretty much the way he plays too, right? Yes, exactly. Um, very slow at the beginning, doesn't have his specials on him. But once he starts unlocking those specials, once he starts getting those confirmed, we're going to start seeing him snowball like crazy. And that's the same thing for Arcune yeah, as well. So these are two incredibly snowball heavy characters. Exactly. And both the characters very deadly when they start going and going. Letting the intros play out. This is a winner's finals match yes. for this pool, so whoever wins this is making it out. And it is three out, so. Is it? Yes. Every pool should be three out. So uh, both of these guys have qualified to make it to that top 40. Let's go! First day, one match! Oh All right. Unlocks the uh, ground viper. Yes, sir. Somebody Unlocks the DP as well. Yep. Yeah, that's going to be one of the big things. Unlocking the Ground Viper, unlocking Spin, and unlocking DP. Because those increase his damage by a ton and also make his defense a lot better. Because Susano doesn't have the strongest defense. Yes. Oh, here we go. Seen this combo a million times, and I know exactly where it leads to. Stop juggling my man! It's a two-player game! That wasn't a real combo! I can't even see him. What is he doing? <laughs> I, I, think that's the, I think that's the point. <laughs> Is the, the no mix up mix up? Let's go! All right, and that should be that. Yeah. Yep. Doesn't even need to do anything afterwards. Yeah. When Susano's in overdrive, he unlocks all of his moves temporarily, but you know, you uh, you also do a lot of damage because you're unlocking some of the special. Oh, slow delay, wake up, five A. And right. there is the round start. The confirm that Arakune wants full curse. Hey, that was a guard break zone. No full confirm though. Uh oh, out of out of out of curse meter. Yeah, out of juice, out of fuel in the tank, and now it's Ice Cool's time to start pressuring Arakune. Start keeping him locked down. Still doesn't have any moves unlocked outside of the level one. Uh, outside level the first two. one. Yeah, he does have level two tackle, but nice bait on that uh, counter. There it is. There is Ground Viper. There's the spin. That's going to increase his damage by a ton because it starts unlocking those ladder combos. Oh, wow. This doesn't block the overhead. That'll be enough. <laughs> I didn't block that overhead either. I'm and with that, Ice Cold takes the first game. Yeah, Wisteria had, uh, yes, sir, drink that drink, boy. had really good hits, but you know he wasn't really confirming off of it. Uh, mm -hmm. I think he might have been negative edging his bugs wrong or something. Mm -hmm. Grenade just backing up, wants to set up, set up shop. Yeah, zone out the Susano. That's exactly what you want to be doing right now. You don't want him up in your face like this. Overdrive goes right through the overhead, and that's full curse, baby. All right, one mix up. Good blocks. Uh oh. 
That combo combo's really hard. Alright? But this combo is a lot easier. Alright, once again, back into the blender. Full curse meter. Nice block, but it doesn't matter, it's a guard break. And it keeps on going. I think this uh, should be enough to kill. Yes, yep. it will. 60 CC. And it kept on going. So close to 5K. 5B, round start. Nice. Now that's a round start if I've ever seen one. Yeah, that 5B round start was ridiculous. Air hit. From this one, he's going to unlock. Yeah, going to unlock Sand that right kick, there. Yep. Oh, wow. Just a delay low. 6A. Hit him with the gun. The quick a draw. Blocks the overhead. Has the meter to continue the pressure. Yep. Sword will take it. I think this is Ice Cool's second perfect. Yes. I mean, it's, 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 it's our Kune, right? Like, yeah. in this matchup, if something gets perfect, it's like, yeah, it happens. Yeah, it just happens. It's, it's natural. It only comes with the matchup. Nice. Applying that pressure. Okay, he got him in the corner again. This is looking like a one player in the game right now. Sword. sword. All right. Nice. Sword. Swords are not only great for these corner loops right now, but also it's going to be really good in oh, a neutral. No. He's dead. Oh no, that's it! Guys, oh, please do Yep, that's a double perfect. Like I said, it, this this matchup is very snowball, right? It's it's. I'm not sure what Wisteria tried to do in that corner right there when he when Juzno had that 5A meeting, right? Because it's, it's it's hard to deal with. It's hard to deal with uh, Susano 5A meeting, especially with a lot of characters. Arakuni especially because he has no reverse. Yeah, both these players not a very good defense. Well, at least until Susano gets his DP. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, Susano, uh, not one of the fastest 5As, but definitely one of the best recoveries on a 5A I've ever seen. Uh, the frame data on it is deceptively scary uh, for how slow it is. Mm -hmm. Well, by now, we've seen all four of our top seeds showing off Monarch, Kairos, Ice Cool, and Days. Yep, exactly. So that is the competition that you're going to want to start expecting as we continue Blaze Blue all the way till the end of this day. Yes, exactly. Yeah, Blaze Blue is going to be a one-day tournament. Very uh, surprising. So uh, you're going to see us guys on commentary a lot more. We're doing the top 48 and also the top 8. Yeah, I'll be doing top 48 as well. I know. We're, we're, doing, oh, yeah. it. we're doing it together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> But it uh, looks like uh, we're going to go straight into the uh, loser side of the um, uh, Pool A, I believe. Yeah. We saw uh, Days put the herd on Naoto earlier, but, you know, Naoto was uh, showing some stuff, you know. Doing the real hard stuff, but dropping the real easy one. Maybe by now they've broken it in, got, got, got their hands warmed up, ready for those dash cancel confirms. But... Man has was on top of those confirmed games. We saw those air to air confirms. We yep. saw those really um, tricky ones as well. So I'm really excited to see what a warmed up Matt can do. We will see. We will see. You know, sometimes natural players, the longer they play, the worse they get because their hands just start giving up. Looks like we're just gonna delay the match here for just a second. Seems like it. Once again, guys, thank you so much for tuning in to Frosty Fausting 16. I remember my first, first Frosty Fausting. Frosty Fausting 6 back in Game Pazo over in, uh, well, I don't even remember what city that was, but we, it was a rinky dink. You know, there was a bar in the back, it was the like cement floors, and everybody was just throwing up everywhere because it was, it was the first time there was a bar and just too many old men. I'm going to make you feel old again. Okay. This is my first Frosty. This is your first Frosty. How old are you? 19. Oh my god. I remember when I was young. I did nothing with my life. Don't, don't, don't be like me. Actually, no. Give up fighting games. It was the <laughs> give up fighting games get, get out while you can. And it looks like we have Acre. dark and slippery road. We have yeah. Acre versus Matt. Acre on the Terami. I wonder what... What things in his life has led him, led him to this moment to I play Terami? I myself that question all that time when I see Terami on the screen, and then also when I see Ragnar on the screen. 
right? Once again, the, just the easy confirms, you know. Ooh. Nice. Right? Tries to get the hard one. It's okay. Jeremy's got a bunch of meter. Go and get the side swap. And what's it going to be? Throw? 6A. Jeremy special. Run up 6A. Whoa! Run Ooh. up 16. <laughs> Another Peter. side swap. Okay. The drops the combo. Oh, it's okay. Jeremy's fast. I am fast. Nice. He's out. He's going to reversal. Reversal. Yeah. I really like how on point Matt is on with these techs, but constantly getting hit by these combos. This will be enough to heal, kill, stomping him into the ground. Aker taking that first round. All Jeremy players play the same, okay? Just tell me differently. And this is a loser's finals match, so whoever yes. wins this will be moving on through pools into top 48. 6B tries to challenge, but you know, 6B is very plus. Nice CP. Doesn't catch the uh, the, the, the rollout. 5D, 5D. Maybe we'll see it one more time at the end of this all. A <laughs> uh, uh, little bit too far. 6A, maybe. Keeping it going. Safe oh, jump. there's the mix. Oh, wow. Micro dash. Yeah, you're dead. Into Astral as well? Yeah, the first Astral of the day, baby. And probably many more to come. Yeah, I mean, uh, it's Terami. Honestly, if you get Astral by Terami, it's like, yeah. Transforming into a better character for his Astral. That's the first game going to Aker on the Terami. A very surprising turn of events. Hey man, Terami's a he's a cool character. Mm -hmm. he's, I think he's all right. It's just uh, you know he's got weaknesses. Very nice confirm. And I, I think one of those weaknesses that Matt hasn't been fully capitalizing on at the moment is using barrier to push him out. Yeah, that's one of the big things because when you start pushing him out without meter, he can't really get back in on you. Well, the big thing with uh, Terami, right, is like he, he is the character that builds the meter. He is the, the meter building character. Uh, every one of his team moves gives him like what, 25 meters or something. And then uh, any time that uh, he does an air or any yeah, D special move, it's just instant full meter almost. Yeah, and we saw that too because like remember those, like, remember those two side switch yep. supers that he used in like quick succession? So yeah. Definitely builds up a lot of meter, but you still want to bury him out regardless. Doesn't know, no meter. And Matt can burn meter right here to finish. No, misses the drop, <laughs> drops at the end. OG's through the overhead. Can Ager kill right here? A, 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 A. Super. Is going to increase the damage as well. Take his meter. Look at the minimum damage scale right here. Cashing oh, all the way out. Not enough. Has a pixel of life. Checks the air throw. The crowd is going crazy. Now to Stars No, Aker just running in. Not even a 6A. Not even a 60. A 2A. Hey, man. Jeremy's fast. I wonder if that back dash is accidental from uh, Matt. All right. 3.1K. Nice. Uh, uh. Mix up. Oh wow, just fuzzy match. DP's again. He's not catching these rollouts, which is really detrimental for uh, Matt. I don't think Aker has landed a single one of those throws. Matt has been on top of those throw attacks yes. in the super to finish this off. One more. Yeah, Matt is keeping himself alive in this match. Keeping himself alive, but could very easily turn the other way, turn Ari, and Aker is getting a great round start right here, pushing Matt into the corner, DP out. What more would you want to expect from Matt? Yeah, okay. Yeah, Aker has was just like fuzzy mashing that 2A against uh, Matt, because it's like he's delaying his strength a little bit too much uh, on, on, on those boxes. Nice. Go 
Guard crush, burst the guard crush. Oh, wow. But still getting the confirm. Messes the dash. There's okay. the stagger pressure. Uh, this should be enough. No. What is going on over here? Sticking onto him like an insect, like glue, and Matt staying alive, keeping himself in it. That is 1-1, one, one, and we're going straight into game three. The Blaze Blue crowd is definitely uh, in, the, in, in the building now. And they finally woke up. Understandably, too. Naoto versus Teremi in the Losers Finals is always a fun matchup no matter what. Overhead connecting, cracking his skull open. And another DP for his troubles. Not Matt. getting the, uh, <laughs> not, not getting those uh, roll, roll, uh, roll punishes is really detrimental to Matt right now. Mm -hmm. Oh, mm. this is death. Yeah, spends that meter. Mm. It's gonna build all that meter back. 6B. I need to take a shot every single time he does that. I'd probably be, I'd probably be dead by then. Huh? Ooh, that's the beat. One more opening, sticking onto it like glue in the 2B. Yeah, I think Aegis trying to instant block a little bit too much in that scenario. Uh, doesn't really have the timing out right now. Yeah, it always seems to be during that part of the string as well. Yeah. Nice. How do you do that? But drops. <laughs> Not to players. Man. Okay. Big. Okay. Doesn't block the overhead. Drops it once again. Oh no! Gets overhead. Oh, doesn't get the full confirm. Matt sitting on full life has active flow, has overdrive. Oh, here we go. It's okay. Just keep it simple. 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 All right, now is Acres time to get started. You cannot let Matt get out of this, but that DP is going to be a scary threat. Throw, and that's one of the first successful throws I've seen. Drive increase this damage, has full mirror too for double super. Not dead just yet. Spent his entire uh, first bar for this. It's a mix up. No mix up, just his hit. And Matt will advance on to the top 48. Good stuff for Maker, though. I, I, I like the the fuzzy match with that 2A to kind of like really check an out a lot in those situations. Both the players know that went down much closer than either of them would have liked. <laughs> <laughs> well, now is there time to rest? Matt. Moving on, and has secured his top 48 spot. Yes, exactly. But it looks like we got Lushi up on the set next, up against uh, Nisimono. Nisimono. Valkenheim versus Nine. Uh, another matchup that is very interesting because you know Valkenheim has one of the best mobility options in the game, but against Nine, who controls most of the screen on the game. Yeah, Lushi. Pretty, uh, a pretty good nine as well. Um, All the way from the PNWs. And I think, and one thing I want to, you, you want to be watching out for watching Lushi play nine is the spells he likes to use. Um, he likes to use Amethyst a lot. Yep. And he also likes to use Skull a lot. And oh, the important like things. Oh, not doing that much. Well, ignore what I just said. It looks like it's gonna be Monarch back up. Oh, I've seen this match up before. <laughs> Give it to us. What's this? What, what do you You'll expect see. from You'll this see. one? You'll see. <laughs> I'm not gonna ruin it. Not gonna spoil it. All I'm saying is Monarch is my goat. I've seen him play this matchup up a lot, but no, I can't even say but. You know, this is not a real person. Monarch is not a real person. I mean, he blocked. You see how long he blocked those Valkenheim mix? I don't think Izanami is gonna be that much more of a problem. Izanami is different in uh, the sense that she doesn't rely on a resource for her mix-up, right? And that's like the biggest thing. Um, not relying on a resource for a mix-up is one of the strongest things that you can do in this game, uh, even though Valkenheim's resource is really, really strong. Uh, 
But if Monarch is playing S, I think S does a really good job in this matchup because of her fireball, uh, Izanami can't just go into stance whenever she feels like it, right? She has to pick and choose her spots. Yeah, for sure. It looks like it's going to be... Yep, there it is. And also 6P, too, to knock Izanami out there. That's also going to be really, really big. Characters with big normals uh, can really check Izanami and uh, a lot of her air movement options, especially when she's in stance when she can't block. And most of the time, the uh, neutral is dominated when Izanami has that stance on. So uh, we're going to see a lot of movement in this matchup, see what both these players can really do to capitalize. Yeah, and the thing to know is that, yes, Izanami can't block well in the stance, but Izanami does have ribcage. She does have ribcage, but I think in neutral, if you're just throwing out ribcage, you're going to have a bad time. True. And especially against S, you really need barrier in this matchup. You want to make sure that you can kind of push her out of that dash 5A range. And the best way to do that is instant block barrier. All right, letting the intros play out yet again. This is Valkyrie Koji versus Monarch. Yep. S versus Izanami, one of my uh, favorite matchups. Level one, action. Yeah, and immediately, Valkyrie Koji is trying to get in that slide in nice. the 6B. That's what we're talking about. Valkyrie Koji getting into the air. Huge button, knocking him out. Yeah, just using S's run speed. Yep, goes right into active flow. I respect that option. I love I love that reaction too. Like you popping the OD as kind of like a pause button, see what Valkyrie Koji is doing. So yep. I'm going for the slide EA in response. Look at that damage. And the setup. Yep. DP. Uh uh. And she's gonna be dead. He's an army, definitely not one of the healthiest girls in the cast. Well, that's one way to start us off. Expected a Monarch. Nice. Instant float 3C, but doesn't capitalize off it. Right. Uh oh, nice 2C. Yeah, catches the back dash. Ash is really, really good at catching an Izanami back dash. Uh, Izanami's back dash is one of the best because it's a Murakuma unit. <laughs> Almost had a really good confirm right there. Playing it. Just playing out of range, just keeping Valkyrie Koji, Koji from wanting to get in. Yeah, just commanding the uh, the space that Valkyrie Koji wants to be in. And it's, it's really hard because you need to come down eventually. You got Valkyrie over here thinking, assessing the situation. One more game will do it for Monarch to get through. So Valkyrie Koji needs to start responding very quickly. Once again, that uh, instant flow 3C trying to catch Monarch off guard. Yeah, but every single time, Monarch is just ready for it. 5C, 6B, using those big buttons as we keep talking about. Yeah, I mean, when you're the king, you got to be ready. Well, I guess he's not the king anymore. He got dethroned by Banana Ken. Hey, but how often does ban Banana Ken come out here? Yeah, Banana Ken's a Street Fighter 6 player again. Nice, using that movement. Almost a really good confirm, but a little bit too far. Yeah, the S-Normals, really controlling. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, no, misses the hard knockdown at the end, but still okay. Oh, still looking good. 60 throw, will yeah. hit that counter. And that's death. Every bit of damage matters. Yeah, every single interaction, Mark, is just squeezing as much damage as possible. You are talking about earlier, like, Monarch has this character down, has this character just lab-grown for the best possible nice. results. Okay, empty low, but doesn't want to go into the full confirm. Tries to go for the reset. OD? Yeah, all right. That has to be one of the coolest EAs in this yeah, game. I think I think Valkyrie Co I think not Valkyrie Coach. I think Izanami has some of the coolest supers EAs in the game. And here we have Rib Cage out. Now Mark. Nope. <laughs> oh no, no barrier far. anymore. No, no barrier. Let that rib cage going on for a little too long. So a single opening from Monarch could do this. Good block. But that's not the confirm he wants. 
It's okay. I like the super right there. Brings him back all the way to full uh, barrier. Oh no. Now, finally, when Monarch was on that set point, Valkyrie, Koji, bringing it back, showing why Izanami is so scary. As you said, that um, no meter needed for that, uh, for that offense, for that pressure. Yep, using that fireball to uh, delay the landing so we can uh, deal with a little bit of the, uh, the absurdity of Izanami. I can say Izanami is absurd, you know, I, I play her here. <laughs> I play S, so. <laughs> hey, there you go. Flow cancels. You can see how much uh, Valkyrie Koji is really moving around in this matchup. Okay. Oh, oh no. O Overdrive, that's it. You hate to see it. Good stuff from Monarch, but Valkyrie Koji will advance on to that top 48 still. Monarch still a force to be reckoned with over here. Yeah, as expected. And now, if I am correct, we have Dereal Zill popping up onto the stage, onto the stream setup. And let's see, who is his opponent? Yeah, Dereal Zill, if you don't know, uh, Azrael player. Yep. Quite a good Azrael player at that. Azrael players are very interesting, right? Because, like, Back in the day, you saw Azrael, 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 uh, Lychee, Kokonoe, all that, all the, all those characters, and, and it feels like he's fallen out of uh, the favoritism. You know? You think so? I feel like he. I don't see that many Azrael players anymore. Well, that's weird because I saw a lot of Azrael players in this bracket. Really? Hmm. I wonder what happened. Yeah, Azrael has definitely seen his fear cha changes uh, throughout the years. Uh, definitely still a very scary character to play against, but uh, a lot of his tools did get toned down a lot. Yeah, very, very infamous, you know, kind of slots into that same area as like Susanna, where he's like that kind of ignorant character that presses big buttons, has armor, can just like rush in on you, be in your face, do a lot of damage, right? I mean, th that's the big thing, right? It's just like, I'm going to have these plus frames, I'm going to do a lot of damage. That's like the Azrael way. Yeah, not to mention the... Not not to mention the unblockables that he has. And just... <laughs> I don't know if you can hear it. We got the, crowd. Peanut, yeah, the peanut gallery over here. The crowd going crazy with the gorilla sounds for this matchup. Yeah, I was like, I was talking about lots of Azrael players. I was explaining the character. That pause, I'm like, oh my gosh, we have an Azrael mirror, mirror on our hands. Yep. <laughs> is this a button check? Yeah, it is a button check, right? No. <laughs> no, it looks like we're just getting into it. <laughs> it really did feel like one. Yeah, yeah, right? It's just Azrael things. Is this a button check? No. No, it is not. <laughs> not anymore. Has uh, uh, one of those tags. Um, I forget what exactly they're called. Seals? No, not seals. Seal. Uh, a weak points. Yeah, the weak points. There you go. Yeah. So if Azrael unlocks two of those weak points, he does get access to unblockables. Uh, if the weak point is on you, you cannot block that direction. Oh, gets hit low, and Tomba will take the first match or first round. Okay, round start. Buster. Tiger Cobra Leopard. <laughs> <laughs> this matchup is funny, man. Really really utilizing the full extent of that uh, of that teleport dash. What is going on over here? Tiger Cobra Leopard. We're doing things. Fatal counter, that's yeah. enough. Definitely a very back and forth from uh, both of these guys. I love Azrael mirror matches. <laughs> I think the crowd loves it too. I don't. Th I don't think there's a single person that hates an Azrael mirror match. It's always super fun to watch. Three oh, C connects. Huh? We don't need the corner. Ooh. Okay. Yeah, we don't. I think he tried to bait a, a burst right there. Okay. Yeah, taking a burst from Tomba right there. Real Zill pushing him into the corner. Oh, messes up. Oh my god! 
There's stuff happening on the screen. I, I don't know if I agree with it, but you know it's working. I saw both of them teleport. And I did not. I wasn't sure at first which <laughs> which Azrael hit. EA will connect. And that's a game win for Durazil. Yeah, a little bit of committal from uh, Tombo right there, but sometimes you got to commit. You got to play a fighting game sometimes. If you're playing this character not playing committal, then I don't even know what you're doing. Right? <laughs> right. <laughs> like I don't even I don't even know what you're doing. And the crowd goes crazy. These guys bought the game on sale and they're having the most fun with it. All right, double weak point. Boom, boom, boom. Valley. Do we see? A, 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 A. Super Blackhawk Stinger. And one more hit will do it. 69 every time. Combos are so fun. Give him the boot. That was almost a sick confirm. DP. I'm waiting for the random sentinel though. All right, Buster. Yep, checks it. Tiger, Cobra, left. Okay. Yeah, I like that. A, A, A. Oh. Get his money's worth. Yep. Bates is uh, going back there. Uh, I'm surprised that that hits. We got a match. Tomba. Very low life right now. Darielzil knows that too, so it's playing very patient, play, playing very careful. Cross up, blocks the cross up, blocks the overhead. Good. Oh, avoids wow. the DP. Knows exactly how far that DP will reach. Round start 3C. Both these guys are feeling them out. Immediate burst from Tomba. Buster, blocked, plus. We're, right now we're just pressing buttons. We're waiting. <laughs> we're just hoping that they're going to rush in at some point. Counter hit. It's not easy to block that uh, cross up uh, TCL. DP. Cobra. Hey, 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 hey. Oh my God! <laughs> Hanging out in the corner right now. Both these guys, they're they're doing things. I go blocker in corner. He's gonna get that weak point. Big low Backdash weak point. Out. Ooh, back that out. Base the anti air. Double weak point. Rolls out. A weak point. Derilzil knows Ooh. that. Try and play as careful as possible. And that's a confirm for Derilzil. Burst. Keep him in the corner. Keep that off. Keep that offense. Keep that pressure. And yeah. that will do it. Zil. Moves on. I feel like Tomba was trying a little bit too hard for that Astral. <laughs> I think so too, because when you have two a weak points as Azrael, you can actually just Black Hawk Stinger them and you'll get an unblockable. Yes, unless they have 50 meter or overdrive. That yeah, ni the only neither, of which, of neither of which Zill had. Yep. That looks like it's going to be Lushi versus Nizimono now. All right, now we're getting Lucy. Yes. But um, yeah, I think what I said before will still kind of apply to this matchup too. Uh, Valkenhayn versus Nine in Lucy. Again, there's two specific spells he likes to use: Amethyst and Skull. Amethyst being the one like the big spark yep. bolt. And what each of these can do is they make your opponent move the way you want them to. Well, it's really good against Valkenhayn uh, because. He can't block while he's in full form. And then he has to maneuver around this slow moving projectile that if you get hit by, she gets a full convert. Yeah, blocks his approach, um, keeps him locked down like one single narrow passageway, and also has school. So Lucy likes to just. 
be a very mobile nine. Likes to move around the screen a lot, and Skull's like this active hitbox that follows him. Yep. And so he can just teleport right through you, Skull follows right behind him, hits you, and then he can get a full confirm right off of that. Yeah, I, I think Lucia is one of the few nines that uh, really uses Skull a lot, uh, interestingly. Yeah, not a very popular spell. Yeah. I mean, uh, when you got, what, uh, Kunzai, you have Amethyst, you got uh, Ground Unblockable, you yeah, got Morgan Arrow I Flame, you got, you got all these cool spells, and it's like, I'm going to use Skull. <laughs> but you do you, boo, you know. Oh, we're going to go unlock some characters, real, uh, character colors real quick. All right, which, which character colors are we going? Okay, we're getting the Lambda ones. Lamp? Oh, is Lucy going for Lambda? We'll see. Maybe, maybe it's uh, it's a new new era, you know, new new year, new me. Well, we'll see soon enough after well, this Nisei quick Moto's, uh, switch of buttons. Oh yeah, that that might be it. I personally did not know he had a Lambda uh, pocket. Oh, well, now we know. Yeah, probably feeling a little more comfortable with this one. Um, not, not looking forward to playing nine versus Valkenhayn. Honestly, I feel like nine versus Valkenhayn might be. I, I'm not a Valkenhayn player myself, so I wouldn't know what the matchup looks like. But I feel like he does okay against her. Um, uh, you know, cause she has a lot of recovery on a lot of her uh, like B and C normal, so you can kind of just kind of maneuver around. I think this matchup is a lot harder for. Uh, Lambda, but maybe not to know something that I don't. Alright. Set it up. <laughs> the classic. Nice. Super will connect. There we go. One of the few characters that gets to press 5A against somebody's back dash and still catch it. That's uh, going to be a very important factor in this matchup, especially since uh, she, uh, Lambda is a Murakuma unit. So. Oh, and immediately the shock. Amethyst coming out, shocking him on his way in, and the rain coming down, putting up a wall. But it's wow. not going to matter. Nox can just sit back, throw out those dry moves, throw out those special moves. This counter Into the corner now. There's the DP coming out. This will buff his wind normals, but he's not going to be needing to use it. Wants to get Fairy instead for that Fairy Oki. And the mirror in your face, Aegis Reflector. Mirror is always all, uh, is also another spell that's very interesting to me, right? It's uh, it, it pushes. It has an active hitbox. That pushes you. Uh, whoa, that could have been so bad for Alushi right there, but Nox not recognizing it fast enough. Yeah, that's one of the tough things about dealing with Nine's DP is that you can't block it because it is safe. So in order to punish it, you have to completely avoid it entirely. Um, there are a lot of option selects against uh, Nine's DP. Uh, but, you know, it's, it's hard. I believe you, there are some characters that can actually instant block and punish her with a 5A. Uh, okay. I don't remember the frame data on it specifically. You can, uh, don't quote me on, you know, punishing it, but, you know, I'm not the greatest frame data master anymore. Hey, but it's still an instant block that you have to hit, right? Yes, exactly. So that's not going to be a consistent thing that you can do. That 5B, covering so much space. Uh oh Overdrives. <laughs> and just DPs in return. God hand. Ooh. Fatal counter. Ooh, misses Almost the confirm it, at yeah. the end. That confirms pretty hard to, to, to deal with. Nice. Yep. Yeah, don't let him hit you with a Kunza Knight. Nice catch on that dash. Yeah, nine dash is really difficult to really uh, check for some characters. I, I'm, I'm, I'm assuming that Lambs is the same. Yeah, with Nines, even though it can be quite linear, she can also chain multiple dashes in a row. Yep. So you have to kind of predict where she'll end up rather than chasing her down. Yeah, you have to hit the area that you think she's going to be at, and that's what Knox did exactly right there. 
Uh, she is projectile the entire way through, so. There's a lot of Oki that doesn't really work on 9 because she can just kind of backdash on Wake Up because it is uh, projectile roll. Okay, nice confirm. Oh. Can confirm right now. Oh, I like that backdash. Yep, oh, going to get hit by the DP again. <laughs> We're just throwing out buttons. We're controlling space. Interesting. That doesn't block the overhead. Just going to set down the gravity well. Oh, no. That's a hit for Knox in a gravity well in response. <laughs> nice damage. Yep, there it is. One of the few characters that's just like, I see that you have projectile Oki on my wake up. Fairies out. Fairies out. We also full meter. Yep, yeah. and that's Another round for Lucy right there on match point. 3C, baby. <laughs> Amethyst. Sus of the Fairy. Yeah, you can see uh, Knox playing very patiently, trying to bait out those uh, dashes. And they're down extending this combo right now. Back into the Fairy. This tag. No full confirm though. Just kidding. I think this should be enough yeah, to this kill. Should be it. Has super in the tank. Yep. Laser. There we go. Good stuff from Lushi, but also good stuff from Knox. I saw the uh, patience coming out, but this matchup is it's definitely very hard, I feel. Navigating that neutral is uh it's tricky, it's a, it's a very difficult puzzle to get around. Yeah, it is it is not easy for sure. Nine, nine very big buttons, and a, very, much quicker than you think. Big buttons, uh, you know, the the dash kind of negating a lot of your Oki is uh, also a very big thing. Yeah, it looks like Lushi, as the camera pans back, we'll see that Lushi's still... Actually, no, we're going to swap Lushi out for Dantis, I think. So, and uh, Notui is going to be pulling up onto the stream setup. We saw Notui earlier yep. on that Kagura. Dantis on Tsubaki. Oh, no, Lushi staying on? No? Okay. <laughs> I was like, he was rubbing the hands like he wanted to. Yeah, I know, right? I'm like, it seems like he's just staying on, ready, <laughs> ready to play him. No, it's just cold in the building. I don't know how it's cold in the building. There's, there's so many bodies in here, man. There's so many bodies. I don't know. I don't feel cold. I don't feel cold at all. Honestly, it feels warm. It doesn't feel like Frosty Fousing. It, it just feels like... <laughs> I mean, uh... What's really funny is the AC is definitely set very low because of uh, the amount of body heat that's going on right here. And it's still pretty warm. Yeah. There's only so much it can do. Yes, exactly. All right. Kagura versus Tsubaki. And this is going to be a pretty big uh, player matchup in particular, too, because Thant is here representing Boston, Boston Blue Beat. And Nodui, actually a part of AAA Austin Air Assault. So these two locals are kind of like kind of the big two big locals you kind of think of when it comes to um, when it comes to blaze blue yep right, I think Shibaki definitely has the advantage in uh, the neutral in most situations but you know we saw how much damage that Kagura can really do I think the big thing that really holds Kagura back is uh, his reversal is tied to holding down and Shibaki makes you block high a lot Tsubaki also has a very good overhead. So it's either you react to the overhead with the flash kick and uh, pray for the best, or he just keeps making you block out. Right, fireball out, trying to keep him locked down, but that nice air confirm. dash is crazy. Uh, JC, confirm. JC has the, uh, the built-in delayed double overhead. Oh, wow. Try to go for the instant overhead right there with uh, Wyvern, but or Fafnir. I don't even remember Kagura's move names anymore. What's that? What's that overhead move name? That overhead move name. A two C. I don't. I don't know the name of it either. 
There's so many move names in Blaze Blue, man. I mean, let's. Do we need to talk about Susanna's move names? We don't need to talk about any move names. Subaki is doing the special move that hits a hammer on your head, and then sometimes she does a dive. We just say it how it is. We say it how it is. I, I know the the inputs for it. Oh shit! Let's go! Let's go! Nice sides have yeah. been swapped, but no. Oh. Can't throw. Oh. Yeah, not even going for a regular throw, just a command throw, so you can't, can't tech it. it. Can't tech it. And I think that's the first command throw that Dances has used. But the special thing about Subaki's command throw as well is that it grants him two, and two, and a half. Yeah, two and a half stocks. And that's yeah. really important because it does buff Subaki his with specials. Subaki stocks is ridiculous. Oh, there, there he is. 5B round start. Already, Nudui using his burst very early on. Yeah. Oh, that's going to be super punishable. And let's look at her meter. Or her stocks, rather. Mm -hmm. And yeah, a special thing about the overdrive is that it does uh, passively charge those stocks up. Yep. Once again, fuzzy, uh, fuzzy jumping out of that command throw. DP's out. Okay, throw counter. Not too bad, honestly, in all retrospect. Oh, trying to go for another one. <laughs> I respect it, you know, it's, it's, it's a move. You're going to dribbling him like a basketball, I think. Yeah, that should be enough. Hunter meter. Dennis could take the, can take this one right now, yep. It's double super. Yep. One of the few characters can really uh, capitalize off that, having a 100 meter and using the uh, double super. Yeah, but the only way he can do it is if he has those stocks. Yes. So that 2-3-6-D two, two, coming in super fast. Like so fast that it, it can feel like a teleport sometimes. Subaki is going to get a, a pretty decent chunk of uh, stock right here. Oh, no, nope, doesn't. Just goes from the median set. 5B just doing so much work right now. Dance is playing this mid range game so well. A range that Kagura really struggles at. Yeah. The big buff that uh, Kagura got, or not Kagura, uh, Subaki got, is her charge. Uh, immediately grants her uh, way more stock meter. So that should be it. Overdrive extension. Super. Dantis moving on. Yeah. Very dominating performance with Dantis. But you can kind of see where the. Um, how, how Kagura kind of struggles in a lot of those matchups. Like his buns aren't his fastest in the game. Um, he, he's very reliant on the stance, makes up, and stuff like that. And it's. Dantis was showing, like, hey, I can just fuzzy jump out of a lot of this stuff. Exactly. All right, and it looks like that was the final match of. Yeah, for sure. This is the perfect taste of what to expect for this entire day. We're running all Blaze Blue today, all 181 inches. And um, it's still crazy to think about. This game is nearing its decade. And uh, we're still getting so many entrants for Blaze Blue. You know, Frosties is one of my favorite tournaments to go to when I want to see some Blaze Blue. The crowd was hyped for it. I was hyped for it. I mean, it's the energy you get from Blaze Blue is definitely very. It's still there. It's not changed over these past uh, this past decade. It's always been the same energy. Every time there's a new Blaze Blue game, you know that people are going to show up. Every time that there's an old Blaze Blue game, you know that people are still going to show up. Yeah, for so. sure. Yeah, online tournaments still running super well. Yep. Locals still running super well for this game. S uh, still very much alive in that roll in the rollback update. Also, provided such a huge influx of new players. Exactly. But once again, guys, thank you so much for tuning in to Frosty Fausting 16. We will be back with more Blaze Blue actions later on today, at the same stream. So. Yes. Until next time, I'm Nobody XE. I'm Salty Boy.